What's up? Welcome to my first D vlog on Gritter, which is a 8-bit logic puzzle-based game that I'm currently developing right now. And before we get into the game, I guess I'll do a brief introduction of myself. My name's Aiden, and I'm a 17-year-old Unity developer. I've been making games for about a year now. Nope. So far I've made three different games. The first game that I made was a complete failure. It was this card game that I tried doing, but I sort of bit off more than I could chew. My second game I actually released on Steam. Well, not fully released, I have it pre-released and I never went into fully releasing it. But it's definitely still playable, so if you wanna play it, you could check out the link in the description. This game that I eventually named Passive Income was basically you built a bunch of houses and then using that money you built more houses. And the game currently has a bunch of problems and bugs I never went across fixing, so uh, you guys can have fun with that. And finally, the third game that I made was actually for my girlfriend. She was a really big Wordle fan, but she couldn't wait the whole day, so I went ahead and made a Wordle copy. I didn't fully release this one, obviously, for copyright reasons, but I did put it free to play on Itch.io if you guys want to check that out. Link also in the description. And finally, the game that you guys clicked on this video for, Gritter, is the game that I'm currently developing right now. So let's get into it. So at the time of making this vlog, I was already one month into development of the game, so I had a lot of the basic mechanics down. So to catch you guys up, as of right now, I'm in the level building process and I'm currently working on a new type of block called the kill block and what this kill block is going to do is as the ball makes contact with this block it's going to immediately disappear rather than bounce off. So first I stored the different types of blocks I wanted to make into an enum which is like a custom data type and established a default block, kill block, and teleport type for the future. Then I had to add the coloring aspects of the nodes respective to each of their types, default being white, kill being red, and teleport being neon blue. This would allow both me and the players to differentiate between each of the different types of blocks. And when I ran the game, all the blocks were set to the correct colors, which I was happy to see. I was feeling pretty good after this, so I decided to get a little fancy and try and add a little glow effect to the special blocks. This is pretty difficult since the nodes were UI elements and not 2D objects, but I was able to do this with little particle prefab that I set to spawn on whenever a kill a teleport node was. There are many trial and errors with this, but eventually I got it to work. Next I started to work on the kill part of the kill block. How I killed the block was setting the object to inactive whenever it collided with the node with the kill type, and then spawn a particle so it looks fancy and doesn't look like the block clipped out of existence. This is pretty straightforward and I got it done pretty quickly. All this left me was the fun part of developing, level building. I built a dev tool for myself that made level building 10 times easier, so let me show you how I made that before I go into a time lapse of me staring at my computer screen. So within my previous month of development, I created a console log within the game, which intakes commands that I store in a command handler. One of the commands is slash level builder, which is a custom level with clickable nodes just like an actual level does. But in this builder, I can set the ball position, direction, place regular nodes, kill nodes, teleport nodes, and everything that I need to build an actual level. As of right now, players also have the option to use this developer console and make their own levels. You just have to enable the developer mode in the settings and press enter. But enough showing off, here's my process of building levels. After I went through that same process with the rest of the levels, I decided to have a few playtesters try out the new levels I made. So to end the video, here's a montage of people trying the new levels out.
So anyways guys, that's the end of the video. If you guys want to try these levels yourself, be sure to visit glitter.org. And my plans for the future are I'm going to be working on a mobile game. I'm going to be working on the teleport block that I was hinting at in today's video. I'm going to be trying to post a, div a dev... I'm going to be trying posting a devlog every week or so, so be sure to expect another video or a devlog next week. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked playing this game, be sure to tell your friends about it because it's an indie game and I'm trying to get it to as many people as possible. And I'll see you guys in the next video.